All right, I'm here with the dynamic duo for the Bethel Bruins. We've got Marcus Banks, the senior right here, and the junior Farrell Lash. They combined for, I think, 39 points, 20 rebounds, and the Bruins come from behind, 15 down, to defeat their city rival Kikatan, 67-59 in double overtime. Uh, Marcus, let me start with you. You guys lost this team on the road, had a 23-point lead the first time you played them. How sweet is it to get uh, revenge and win this game tonight in double overtime in your gym? Uh, I feel it's great. I mean, the first game, we started off strong, and, we uh, led up a 20-point lead deficit and came back and lost. So that definitely haunted us, and we wanted to uh, make sure our focus all week was uh, just to get back at it and come out strong. And this game, we didn't come out strong that much. And at halftime, I just I had to feel like I had to pick up, pick up the leadership and then had to do key stuff for my team, try to get the dub. Mm -hmm. and we got Farrell, what was the difference for you guys um, as opposed to um, the last time you played them and then this game in general? Because you were down double digits. How did you kind of get momentum on your side? With the momentum, I think it came from like the crowd. We had we don't we don't plan on losing at home, and I think we came with more grit in this game. Actually playing like coming, like we was down by like what 14 at one point, and I think we just played with a lot of grit and like we just playing on like winning the game. We didn't we didn't plan on losing, so mm -hmm. I feel like we just handled business and worked worked together as a team. Yeah, certainly the chemistry was good on the stretch with yourself. Also, Aaron Chappell inside, OB Okafor had a couple of nice plays. They have two great guards in uh, Dewan Campbell and Jalen Davis, but it, they didn't hit a single three-point shot in the second half. Was that part of the game plan to keep them out of the lane and make them at the beach yeah. from deep? Yeah, that was part of the game. Make them limit shots most of the time because it was pulling from like volleyball line, so we was like we got to step up and close out on that. Sure, you guys can run with people, but it felt like too, Marcus, when you kept them out of transition, <laughs> that played in your favor. Did Coach Breon can I talk about tempo? Let's kind of keep it on our side, not let them get in the run and gun game, or? Yeah, as he talked about, every possession is key, and we got to make sure we uh, are in control. We don't want them to speed us up, and we just keep poised, keep up poised. Mm -hmm. For both of you guys, you're new to the school. You came from Walsingham, I think it was last year. You yes. were at, was it Peninsula, Peninsula Catholic? Catholic? Speak on just the adjustment to a new school and a new right. system with Coach Breon and what, what he's asked out of you this year as being known as a scorer. Well, coming from private school and uh, coming to the PD is a big difference in the atmosphere and everything. I mean, uh, Coach Barnes at Walsingham, he was a good coach. He prepped me very well, and Coach Breon, both of them are basically, they're not high school coaches, they're college coaches. They're preparing us for the next level, and that's what Coach Brown is doing for us. How about you, Fredo? What's yeah, been? just to piggyback on what Marcus said, they're making sure we execute every day in practice, making sure we're ready for college. And, like, through the summer, we just stayed in the weight room, <laughs> and worked hard. Did, I did more work than I really did at Penis Capital, I feel like. Sure. like it's a big, like, program. Mm -hmm. he's, and he's making it, like, a college program for us to get ready to, to, to be prepared for college mm -hmm. most of the time. Well, let me ask about that, Volpe. I know you're just a junior, but any, any school showing some interest in you, and what would you tell a school why they should recruit you for the next level? Can I well, make yourself? Recently, I think um, ODU was at our first game we played them, so that's cool. one team I know that's, like, really um, recruiting me, cool. staying, staying in touch with me. Uh, for for y'all to get in touch with me, I just know I'm gonna give y'all everything I got and work harder every day in practice. Okay. How, about, how about you for Marcus? Um, who's kinda of showing some interest in you right now? Um so far UVA, ODU and uh Norfolk State. And um what I gotta gotta say is um I'm gonna give them all every time. Uh no let down, not scared of nothing. Mm -hmm. Last two for you guys. I um, saw you in our Virginia Preps class a couple weeks ago. You lost on a buzzer beater to Kellum. Um, how much did that loss kind of teach you and show you guys kind of what you needed to do better, I guess, as you guys get ready for the postseason push? Uh, I feel like that, that game, we all came out slow. And just like every other game, pretty much when we lost, we came out slow. We weren't really, really ready. So I feel like we got to, in the further run, we got to pick that up and make sure we come out with a punch and ready to go. Mm -hmm. And lastly, for both of you guys, what's this game do as you try to get ready for the playoffs? I mean, 5 A's a meat grinder. It's a gauntlet. There's a lot of good teams with Norview and Green Run and Princess Andrews Red Hot right now and many others. So what can you take from this game and apply as you move closer to the playoffs? It's very simple. Kill it, be killed. <laughs> you pretty much nailed it, huh? Yeah. Farrell, Farrell Lasser, Marcus Banks, they get it done tonight. Bethel beats Kikatan and double OT. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Good job.